you have some messages, uh, Mr. Clément, from people for admirers. Un grand bonjour à Gilles Clément et merci à vous pour ce beau cadeau uh, to receive you today. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. So I think we can start. And uh, anyway, people will uh, continue to, to, to enter. So hello, everyone. We are very pleased to welcome you again uh, on this new session of our S seminar. This is a seminar we entitled Sensitive Observation Seminar Series. And uh, my name is Louise Lemoine, and I'm running together with uh, Gilly Marin and Nila Becker, the Architecture Studio Diploma 16 at the Architectural Association School of Architecture in London. So just uh, for the ones who join us for the first time in this seminar, I just wanted to say a few words about uh, what we are trying to do in this series of talks. Since uh, last of, of October, we uh, invite some uh, guests from different fields being uh, architects, being artists, uh, filmmakers, historians, uh, let's say many different backgrounds. And we invite them to discuss their work, their practice uh, and their working methodology. And gathering these personalities and their work, what this seminar tries to do is to, is to question or to define what sensitive observation uh, can mean and we try to understand this notion as a, as a characteristic that goes uh, far beyond the division of, of disciplines, more as an attitude rather than a simple matter of uh, visual qualities. So we try to approach this idea more as a, a profound disposition of openness uh, to what surrounds us. So having said that, I think we couldn't find a better guest than the one you will have the chance to hear today. So on behalf of the AA School, uh, we are more than pleased and honored to welcome a, a wonderful guest today, Monsieur Gilles Clément. So first, let me introduce a little bit uh, Gilles Clément and his work and also the topic of today's lecture. But um, presenting Gilles Clément in short is not an easy task for sure because he's uh, so many things at a time and has produced and worked uh, for such a long time, but you probably all know him as uh, one of the most important contemporary landscape architects, of course, but he's also a horticultural engineer, an agronomist, a botanist, an entomologist, but also a writer and an educator. Uh, starting with this uh, last title, uh, Gilles Clément has been uh, actively involved in teaching uh, for years and years. Uh, and mainly at uh, Ecole Nationale Supérieure du Paysage de Versailles. But uh, more recently, he gave a series of courses at the prestigious uh, Collège de France in Paris, which are also available online, but unfortunately not translated in English uh, yet. And I think you came twice to the AA, right? To give lectures, Monsieur Clément, in, in, the, in the past, not recently, but um, did, didn't you? Yes, um, a long time ago. I don't remember exactly. It yeah. Maybe, not, maybe 20, 20 or 15 years ago. So, so a long story. Yeah. So he, Gilles Clément started his practice in the 70s, uh, developing his personal conception of gardening through various experiments he led in his own garden laboratory that is named La Vallée in the Creuse region in France. And afterwards, he made a great number of, uh, of private and public gardens uh, all over. But among the most well-known ones, the one you probably uh, all know is uh, Le Parc André Citroën in Paris, or still in Paris, Le Jardin de l'Arche de la Défense. The, the first public, public yes. one. In the public the one. The first time I had the opportunity to make a garden in motion. In yeah, exactly. In this case, Parc André Citroën, yes. Uh, but, and then still in Paris, uh, you, you have made the garden for the Musée du Quai Branly uh, in collaboration with uh, Jean Nouvel, mm -hmm. or in uh, also the Parc Henri Matisse uh, next to the Euralil project in Lille, 
or uh, in south of France, nearby Marseille, uh, the wonderful Jardin du Domaine du Rayol. And for the exceptional qualities of his work, uh, he was also awarded the Grand Prix du Paysage in uh, 1998. But alongside his practice as a gardener, as uh, Mr. Clément likes to be called, he has also developed an important uh, theoretical research around a series of uh, landmark concepts which have deeply modified the conception of the art of gardens and the approach to landscape design since then. And the three main concepts that really embody uh, his work and research are the, the garden in movement, the planetary garden and the third landscape, which are also uh, the titles of uh, some of his major publications uh, from uh, 1991, 1997 and 2004, if I'm correct. Uh, the singularity of his work really lies in a profound uh, reversal of attitude towards nature, an attitude that can be called uh, humanist ecology, uh, according also a title of one of his books. If the art of gardening was historically based uh, on a formal and aesthetic approach to nature, which was uh, constrained, uh, manipulated and domesticated uh, according to the wishes of the gardener, Gilles Clément uh, has proposed uh, exactly the opposite. He tells us that it is through observation, through listening, through knowledge of the inner dynamics of life and through the natural behavior of species that the gardener can deeply uh, understand what he calls the genius of nature. Uh, a sentence he, he often says, and, and we can understand it as a real motto in his work, is to do as much as possible with and as little as possible against. So as you understand, rather than being an active interventionist, uh, Mr. Clément defends more the idea of the gardener as an attentive observer of nature. And this last point directly uh, leads us to the topic of today's lecture, because uh, observation seems really a truly central and, and decisive question in his uh, thinking and, and attitude. And that's why for today's lecture, we, we asked him to um, talk about a little book uh, from 1997, so not a recent one. I hope you, you see something here. Uh, the, the title in French is uh, Traité succinct de l'art involontaire. And I think, unfortunately, it hasn't been translated yet in English, but it means uh, a brief essay on involuntary art, and in which observation is, uh, is more of, a, is really a central topic of the book. And the book itself uh, is a very interesting and, and peculiar object, because many things at the time, uh, as you probably don't have read it or uh, had the opportunity to go through it, I, I, I may say a few words about it. I think, at least according to me, I can read it as either a meditative essay made of notes and reflections on, on what is a landscape in its fragile and ephemeral nature. And uh, Gilles Clément often reminds us how subjective this notion is, but it is also a travel diary uh, around the world of a landscape designer anthropologist who evokes through short texts, through, but also photographs and drawings, some uh, voluntary and involuntary traces of man on earth. But we can also see it as a sort of imaginary museum of a planetary pedestrian, if I can say so, who assembles in this little book, uh, his collection of wonders, of uh, illuminations or of punctum, to use this word uh, by Roland Barthes. And ultimately, and most importantly, I think this little book is also an invitation to uh, reflect on what is art, on what makes a work of art and, and where art really lies. Is it in the physical object of the artwork or rather in the gaze of who is looking? So I think this essay really questions what looking means, uh, also underlying this shift of meaning at play between seeing and looking, that is to say between the sensorial perception that we are all able to have and 
a mental process of great complexity, which is highly selective, but also interpretative, imaginative, totally subjective, unique to each of us, and which involves uh, either memory and culture. So I think this little book uh, could be considered as a sort of little monument to the invisible art that only arises in the gaze of who knows who know how to look. So once again, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Clement, for accepting this invitation. We are, it's really a, a fantastic event to have you among us today. So welcome and uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so I will go to my, my document. Um, <clears throat> for, thank you very much for this invitation. Uh, I will not speak about uh, garden uh, because of the, 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 the special topic, uh, involuntary art, uh, is um, belong, of course, to the, um, the largest view of the landscape we can imagine, but it, it, the garden are not in the center of the, the proposed, the, this uh, reflection, you know. Uh, I divided this, uh, this special theme in eight different groups. Um, <clears throat> Flights, bulks, I don't know if the, the term is correct. That means uh, l'Italie vrac in French. Islands, construction, erosion, that's uh, supposed the, the time, installations, operations, and track. So um, it's also, as Louise said, a sort of travel around the world. I know that my um, carbon footprint is not very good because I, I travel long, many, many times in order to understand what is this country, what is this one. And I, I went very often on south of the, on the other, other part of the world, like south in South Africa, South America, etc., and, and Australia too. So I begin uh, with, uh, th this is the cloud, cloud. you, you don't, um, don't be afraid, but it, we, uh, if it, each group we change with this kind of cloud, okay? So the first is flight, the, the wind, the, the things which are able to, to wind, to, to, to fly mostly by the wind. And uh, at the beginning, when I was, writing a book and studying the, the Cape, Cape uh, country and uh, close to Cape Town. Um, I was faced this kind of strange fence with a plastic, a lot of different waste in plastic um, on, on um, uh, Collet, um, sorry for my English. Uh, on the fence, but it was the fence for a golf place with a, a, a very beautiful uh, grass um, pruned for for the you know the golfing. So it was a contrast incredible. But where are the beautiful things? Is it the the golf landscape, or is it for, or is it this special fence with all the plastic on? And I decided that, in fact, that was a sort of uh, not a monument of art, of course, but things interesting to take a, take a, take a picture. I don't have uh, this, this thing, but I have many others. Close to, um, on, on another country, it's uh, the north of Africa, Morocco, close to Marrakesh. Very time, very very often, I I I I am, I've been walking around in order to understand something about the different Spanish rubs 
living in these places. And each time I, I met a lot of plastic uh, um, emballage, uh, uh, scotch and, and peg like that in the, in the spiny straps, but in, in a, with different colors. One year it was white, one other year it was black, uh, other uh, year it black and white, like this picture, you know. Now uh, they tried to clean a little bit these places, but it was incredible at this moment. This is completely different. Also with the, 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 strength, the strength of the wind, but it is uh, another thing. And for me, a very poetic landscape. Uh, we are in Bali, Indonesia. In, in this island, at the moment where the rice is, uh, is uh, close to, to his, um, um, uh, well, uh, je ne sais pas comment on dit, à maturité. Began to be matured. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, by, by the way, Monsieur Clément, est-ce qu'il serait possible que vous centriez un petit peu l'image parce qu'elle est décentrée légèrement euh, Voyez votre fichier, voilà, si vous le remettez un peu vers le centre de l'ordinateur. Euh, non. Oh, Juste et... la fenêtre, comme ça, comme ça. Vous, la, vous prenez la fenêtre de l'image et vous la déplacez à droite, un peu. Non, vous voyez. Je ne peux pas. Non, non, en haut, en haut. Le en cadre, haut. le cadre. Le cadre de la fenêtre. Voilà ça, ça, ça. Si vous appuyez dessus, ah, voilà. Ben, très bien, très bien, très voilà. Bien. Et vous pouvez pas mettre, si vous appuyez sur le... le petit en vert, voilà, pour être en plein écran. Non, non, en haut, en haut à, à gauche. Okay. Tout en haut à gauche de la fenêtre. Oh. Ah, oui, oui, voilà. oui, oui, oui. Ah, ben, très voilà, bien. Parfait. Bien, parfait. Merci. C'est mieux que. Oui, c'est mieux. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So um, <clears throat> the 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 garden the gardener of this kind of uh, culture, the rice in in Bali, uh, at the moment where the, the the seed is mature, so the birds they call it burung padi came and eat it. But to be too afraid, to be, so it's a system for, for for pushing away the birds, and they, they put cables and pieces of plastic flying like that, you know, on on, sur, on, on the on the on the field. It's incredible. I I never saw this kind of thing in other countries. They also add an, another system with the music is stones, little stones in tins like that, and that make a, a special uh, music and they're afraid to, it, it's in order to, uh, to afraid and push away all the birds. I've been in, very interested by that. More recently in France, I saw that with a strong wind pushing away from, um, out of the, this special rim, um, probably they try to begin uh, work in, in order to obtain a new, a new uh, house, but uh, um, the wind destroy all those curtains, special curtains, maybe in order to protect, I don't know. And that's what absolutely extraordinary. I, I took many pictures of that with the, also with a, a video with the, the music of this um, curtain flying in the, in, the, in the wind. This is a picture I took when I was traveling, um, coming back from my, I say, service militaire, but it was absolutely not military. It was just a cooperation in Nicaragua. Two years after I came back to France, but I have a stop in Tahiti. And in this island, there is no cyclones and, uh, you know, uh, um, storms and uh, not so strong. It, that, that was the first, the, the, the first time that they had seven storms, very strong. 
and it, they destroy a lot of um, trees, of course, but houses and the villages have been destroyed completely, um, making a sort of landscape which is uh, incredible because you, you, you never see that. Uh, that was the first time for me, of course. We had an explanation concerning this cyclone, uh, very strange, that uh, three years ago, a big uh, smoke coming from a volcano in Mexico pushed the, the, those um, small particles on the north of uh, the, the Pole Nord, and that makes the, 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 the icy space, uh, the, the iceberg, um, ils ont fondu, les icebergs ont fondu. Uh, can you help me on that? The iceberg melted, I think. Yeah, and they make a, a, a very a very low temperature on the north of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, um, first time for that. And the beginning, so it makes a sort of dynamic for the storms. It, it arrives until Tahiti, you know. That was the, the seven uh, one. The name of this cyclone was Vena, a very, very strong one. Now, this is uh, not really the flying and the, 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 strong, the strength of the wind, but uh, I've been interested by this uh, incredible um, intermingling between the cables of electric cables for in the, the city of Delhi. New Delhi and Delhi, the old one. I I can't say it's uh, it's an uh, artistic installation, of course, no. But it's it's also something I never saw in other, in other places in the world, like that, you know. So the second theme is Belks uh, Vrak. Uh, is Belks uh, the right traduction of Vrak? The idea that the Nama that d'un ensemble d'un... It's okay, I, I, think, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. So this is um, also uh, um, the first time I saw that in Anaba, in north of Algeria. Uh, it's sort of Belvedere. You can see the Mediterranean Sea from this place. And uh, the, um, the people come here with the car, they drink beer, and they push away like that. And after that, they go away. But the car is make a sort of a special landscape with this tin, you know. Uh, tin is the right term for that, I don't know. Uh, no. Um, with the cans. The cans? And it, yeah. Can, okay. Well, it is because the um, young man and young woman cannot meet together in the town. They have to go away inside and they make love, of course, but inside the car. It, is, it was very known at the moment. It's, I speak about. Uh, maybe 20 years ago, Canada. And well, this is a special uh, landscape made with the canal. This is completely different, but uh, similar for me. Um, in California, monoculture, just one species. Until the horizon, it's an open field, the landscape open until the it's incredible. I never said that in, a, in other countries too. So um, it's not far from Los Angeles. And this is in um, Tasmania. And I've been impressed by the mixed together stones and also those what de conserve that, um, with a special the, the color. Cans. Can, can? Cans, cans, know. yeah. 
cans, cans, okay, cans and cans and white stone. This is in Yerevan, and we are in Armenia. And um, um, I saw this kind of in installation uh, all around the world. That uh, in this place it was an enormous area, and I was impressed. In also in Esawira, maybe same material, not exactly, but the colors are very similar. And they put it uh, like a market. It, they put it away. Uh, uh, put it, uh, not away, um, not inside the houses, but outside of the houses, like that, close to the street, and you can buy it. This is inside the house, a very technical one. Um, for me, it, is, it was incredible because I was in, in discussion with scientific. And they try to explain me what is exactly today the, um, the, the, the way, the best way uh, for have an idea of what happened on the other side of the planet, etc. And the, it was a scientific place, but the, is this a scientific design? I was in, impressed by the the disorder. Uh, the disorder. The disorder. And uh, this material, like a waste. Very, very important. They told me that for the temperature in this machine, you know. Well, we change. We, we go to um, islands. The islands. Small landscape, small islands. The first time I took a picture concerning this form in the landscape was in Morocco, um, close at the south, of, very south of Mar uh, the uh, Atlas, I had I Atlas, so from Marrakesh. Um, in order to obtain a very stable island of sand, they put some uh, hedges like that, artificial, Death plant, but like fences, you know, and uh, it's supposed to maintain the, the the sand inside. And I was, um, is is this an art uh, proposition? Probably, but we don't know who is the artist in this case. You know, the idea was to protect this. Um, small valley where the river Dra, that's the name of this river, is supposed to to go, but in fact you can never see it because it is in a, under under the, under the ground. In fact, it, it, it's really difficult to um, to protect the, the the valley, and now it's full of sand also. But when the wind comes from the south, the sand come together with. But it's a very special design and a very special landscape. Also in Morocco, where I saw that, a long field, a very large field with a small island like this. And they, they, nobody gave me the explanation of that. But if you see that from far, it's very interesting. It com change completely your point of view of this very flat landscape and dry, we are in, in a desert. This uh, small island is another thing. We are um, close to Swakopmund River in Tasmania, south of Africa. Here, the water is not, because the rain is, the, the, the rain is only, um, 20 or 20, where 20 or 40 days each year, no more. And the Swakopun River uh, is mostly dry. But the people who is living close to this place, the, the crop of these pieces of ground made with argile, argile, I don't know the name, 
in order to uh, obtain the material for the construction of the houses. It's incredible. I, I love this. In the Mauritius Island, the small islands of um, plants, uh, waste of plants, the mm, things, dry, dry, dry objects like that, they, um, they clean, they try to clean the, the, the beach because it's a touristic island. And very often they made a, a special landscape. I never saw that in the island. Also, we are in um, Mauritius Island. It's a, an enormous landscape, very in all, quite all the area, all the superficy of the island is like that, with um, culture of um, canna sucre, sugar cane. That it's right, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Until the year. 2003, the sugar plan was very, very important for Mauritius Island because they can sell the sugar very high uh, cost. They don't uh, eat, use the sugar in the same island. They sell it uh, in other country. Ça s'appelle les accords de Lomé. Lomé accords. It's an economic uh, special accord. Uh, 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 Lome agreement, I think, maybe. Yeah, that, Lome uh, summit, yeah. Lome agreement. The Mauritius Island and other um, countries in Africa um, had this uh, opportunity with the Lome accord, but it stopped in 2003. Until this period, you, you can't so that even in the, con the places where it was quite impossible to have to obtain the sugar cane, they, they push away the, the stones, the volcanic stones, in making like that highlands and highlands of stones, incredible landscapes, you know. And after that, there was an, a third landscape, uh, third um, construction, they destroy it each one, each stone with a mechanics machine uh, for, uh, in order to obtain a sort of uh, power of the ground, you know, and uh, make a, a, lar a larger area, a long, more area for this sculpture. But after 2003, they abandoned all and it belonged um, uh, um, a wasteland, something like this. Yes, a wasteland. And, uh, but it was forbidden to have a wasteland in, in Mauritius Island because it's so touristic. And they tax it. So uh, the, the owners push, uh, uh, used um, horrible uh, product, chemicals product, um, with the idea of cleaning this, uh, well, bad story, but anyway, interesting landscape. After that, the fourth, fourth one, therefore, it's construction. The first time I speak about uh, involuntary um, landscape, art, involuntary art, it was concerning the construction like that with pieces of wood in my country, the Limousin. Limousin, um, well, uh, it's full of trees. It's a big uh, industry, but uh, you can see very special landscapes like that. And the organization of each one of each piece of wood um, make a sort of art object or not, it depends. Another construction like that, I, I take the picture in uh, the Jardin de uh, à Pékin. À Pékin, Jardin du Palais d'été. Can you traduce it? 
in uh, Beijing, in the garden of the... Uh, C'est le palais d'été, uh, la saison, ou du thé, summer, summer palace, oui. uh, in summer Beijing, palace, the yeah. summer palace garden. Yeah. And um, it was maybe 15 or 20 years ago, and they still use this uh, incredible uh, carbon. Uh, it's it's coal, coal, du charbon. Coal, yes, coal, coal. But it's, it's uh, coal. It's a construction. Can be considered as an as an object d'art for me. And this is a sort of incredible pergola. Unfortunately, it has it disappeared because it's very fragile, made with uh, the, um, the um, la tige uh, of a big gramina crop growing in Africa, North Africa. It's for the, the wine, and you can crop the, the, the river, the wine here. It's uh, really interesting, but ephemeral. Other constructions which are not so easy to destroy, they take off the stone, and after that, in the next period of rain, grow the things around. That makes a very, very strange landscape in a desert, uh, quite desert country in Morocco. In Atlas, I saw that uh, walls made with the ground just the ground, and the, the, the idea is to protect the trees, <clears throat> all around trees or other, for fruits. I was surprised by the idea um, of the, the, the disposition of each piece of wood with um, the possibility for the wind to go in this whole uh, window. For me, this is really an artistic installation in the, uh, the Canary Islands. This uh, region, this, this part of the island, is the name is La Geria, a place where the people just a long time ago built these small walls. In order to protect and against the, the strong wind, each plant, each plant of wine, uh, wine, c'est ça, on dit wine, 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 yes, oui, oui, wine, yeah. and the oh. quality, what, Vin? they call it soko, soko, uh, it's a word, which is coming from Arab, Arabic, it's an Arabic word, and the meaning is, uh, meaning is uh, protection. That means protect, it's souk, I mean, it can, it's souk. When you go in a souk, souk is something that protects the place where, where are the markets in the towns. This is a strange landscape, a very heroic construction. And um, because this island, is uh, accept about one million tourists each year. They maintain it and they sell the wine very, very easily. This is not exactly the, the same uh, economic system, uh, of course, but this is a sculpture. The mountain by itself has been sculpted, is in City Navrada, is an art. Um, Art, there, artwork, artwork. Artwork, it's an artwork, just like that. It's impossible to go there and each terrace with any machine, electric or mechanic, or just go walking and with animals, that's all, artisanal, but work out. This is in Bali, in Indonesia. 
No, we go to um, erosion. Erosion is the that meaning that uh, something which is interesting in the landscape when you look at this. It can be the result of the time. Erosion is uh, supposed long time for uh, obtaining a sort of interesting thing. I've been surprised by this uh, a boat on the field <laughs> just after a big cyclone, of course, close to in Amazonia, close in Colombia, south of Colombia, in Leticia, long time ago. It was in 1920. No, no, I don't remember. Too, 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 too long time ago. Um, here, it's a very st strange story of a tree which has been probably destroyed by the chemical product on this um, their sclad, um, the Kedinga. Um, this is a station, my station in the Creuse, a very small one. There is no more train uh, here, but and this tree is already there. When he was young, the they plant it in, inside um, a horrible uh, tire. And I saw that for my, when I was young, I saw it with a tire, a, a young and, and very um, perfect tire, you know, and the young tree, and it, it disappeared. It's, I take the pictures of the story of the destruction of that. And that is the last picture I talk, where when the, um, the Corse, the Corse, the Corse, come on, the Corse, the uh, bark falls. That's the end, it was a Robinia, an acacia. Stupidly pruned, but, well, uh, this is a picture I love because, um, unfortunately, it doesn't exist today. Uh, it, it's a table in my garden. It was in the, in the blue color, the uniform blue color. But with the erosion, the time, with the, uh, it, you can observe that the initial color has been destroyed, and another appear and you have like a, a picture of the sky with the clouds. Incredible. Well, no, we had to paint again it. Well, the maintenance. Is it necessary to maintain the things? We don't know. This has been very interesting by this sculpture. It's just the strength of the, the, the water in the small river in Alp, close to Saint Véran. Uh, I, I had I had not um, the place for take it and put it in my garden, but I love it. <laughs> and this is the best thing I never see uh, in the town in Paris. Now this building is a, it's a, a school for arch architecture, but it was a, the moment where it has been abandoned, and um, a car, a big a car, tried to came in when the, the door was open and there's an accident, it make that, but it's impossible to obtain. If you want to do it, you don't have the strength and the material necessary for, for that. You know. Unfortunately, they take it off. And this is in, it is in my, my garden on the roof, uh, flat, flat roof uh, on a small building. Um, who is the author of this picture? We don't know. I, I, at the beginning, I, I, I was really surprised, but you can see here uh, the, the, the shape of a leaf. Um, here is the, here is the author. It's a tree. On this iron piece of flat piece, 
it depleted. And because there is an oxidation, I don't know exactly what, but it changed the color like that, you know. So this tree is an artist. This, this tree also is, an, is another one, able to eat even this kind of uh, material in to stay there, to park, probably in a small five or six years later, we can stop, we can stay. We can have a new parking. Thank you for the tree. This is in the, uh, close to a marketplace in the town of uh, South of France. Um, now we go to installation, installation. This is um, a garden, very, very special, interesting garden, close to Monton in the south of France too. And I do this picture because I was interested by the connection between Apollo or something, somebody else, I don't remember, and the things uh, on the ground. Installation, involuntary, involuntary, of course. This is not involuntary. It has been built with um, a piece of bamboo and a, a bottle for of water in plastic. And this has been just for um, push away the birds like in Bali. And, uh, and it was in Madagascar, very interesting that part because they recuper, they used even all the waste for making things special. Well, for me, this is not an object d'art. This is not an art. Uh, but I saw it in Paris, close to the River Sea, Seine. Impossible to take it off because it's too far from the street and very high. I didn't know who made that and why. We again come in the Jardin du Palais d'Été in Beijing to obtain the, the water. You can crop it like, like that in, in this small box, which has been painted in red, very strong. But it's a, a poor material, it doesn't matter. It's an installation. This is another one completely stupid, but interesting. It's also the station I spoke about you, where there is no train today, but they put it, it's a recent picture for the for the waste, you know, but there is no passengers, so there is nothing inside. But when it's raining, there is water. You can crop it, catch the water by this way. Interesting. I love this one. Uh, it was in Namibia a long, long time ago, and uh, I saw that from far away. It's in the, the, the silhouette of the shape of an oryx, an animal which is protected, but they, they built it in with a, a, a possibility to put the waste inside here, just um, um, for explaining to the people, this is a protected animal and the waste you don't have to put it in the, on, the, uh, on the sand and everywhere. Same thing in the Cape Town, the place is Sandy Bay, of Cape Town, a place where are nudists, uh, um, it's the only place nudist of, it's not, the, for, the, for, the, for naked people, I don't yeah, know exactly. People, that's right. <laughs> and these people um, made sort of a construction like that, changing it each form. It's very special, um, like a Totem with the things they, they take off coming from the, the sea. Just, uh, you know, today is very, very, I suppose, a lot of plastic object. This is the best one with uh, 
a special organization of this uh, piece of, uh, you know. And I take two pictures of those um, uh, installation too, um, in different countries. This one is the souk, the in south of Morocco. Why do you have uh, the high part for women, but the other is not the same? You know, you, you cut the, the body in two places, in two pieces. But I never saw that. And this in Lebanon, in Tehran, in Liban. What are they doing there? Is it an organization of a special party? We don't know. They, they try to sell gin, that's all. But also there is installation which are able to transform completely the landscape to a big scale, like the Eolian. The first time I saw that it was in California, but now you can see this kind of thing everywhere in the world. And other things like that. This is in my country. Black and white and green, with trees and, and grass. I'd consider that as a tableau oeuvre d'art, an, an art construction for me. Well, I suppose the author, which is a, an agriculture, uh, who is an agriculture, is not conscient of that. He do not think I'm designing uh, an artistic landscape, but for me it is. This is not involuntary, it has been built, of course, not sure. That bundle of straw, is it the right term? Make like that. That's for explaining to the tourists visiting this country in Ardèche in France, that we are working, we are uh, um, taking care of the landscape, etc. That, that's not true, true, but they try to explain it. Last thing, operation. And that is called the last, no, last, after that, but it's a very, a very short. Operation is uh, with animals or human beings or things which are uh, just here for few time, seconds, minutes, few times and disappeared after that. The first time I saw this animal red completely, like uh, the, the, the crab you, you, you eat when they are cooked, they are not cooked, they are red living like that in the a, in a, in a ground, on, on the ground, which is a volcanic one, island Galapagos in 1971, very long time ago. Another operation, animals on the trees, goats. They, in, in fact, uh, they are linked, attached to the special uh, cable uh, at each branch, but they, 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 they go up by, by, by itself and they eat the fruit of the arganier, a very interesting plant with the seeds and the fruit, you can make an oil uh, very special and expensive, interesting for for people here. And the goat maintain, in fact, the possibility to the seed to uh, grow again. They eat the fruit and they push away the seed. And the people came um, in the, in, inside the the pas comment dire la l'étable, l'endroit où ils sont garés, les chèvres. Um, uh, in the farm, in, uh, in the, in the, farm, in the um, stable, I think. The stable. And each night they go and take off the seed in the, uh, dans les excréments, in the sheet of uh, the, the animal. That's very interesting because we can, we can have an, uh, an uh, illustration of um, synergy, uh, positive synergy between an animal and, uh, and a tree. Apparition. Um, suddenly, I was just uh, 
visiting uh, in the coast and south of uh, north of Iranian island. And I saw, I, I didn't know what is that. It was in, in fact human beings with special pieces of uh, plastic um, or swimming uh, mostly easily. From far away, I didn't know it was very special things like that. This is, it was in Australia, like animals on the ground. Or um, because the colors are very strong, uh, the things you, you see and you cannot uh, uh, appreciate the other side, the things on the right on the side, you see just that because it's, it's strong, you know. That was in the station Lyon in Paris. This apparition, well, it, it's one of the, be the best, I prefer this one. You know, the wall, the color of the wall. We are inside the secret garden in, in Beijing. And the woman come with the same color. It's very, very rare. Same thing like that. The hat of this woman coming around a sort of a piece of um, a water where are growing the nephea and the lotus, nephea, etc. And uh, it's in Cambodge, Phnom Penh. So we are another country. And this incredible in the train in France. The, the, the lines like that on the seats and the lines with the same distances between white and black and black. Special landscape. <laughs> well, I've been surprised by the, the the column of this cloud belonging from um, to, um, Eugene uh, Nuclear in France. It appears and disappears and appears again. Last thing. The tracks, that's the memory of something. What happened? Um, this is an extraordinary landscape for me because uh, the traduction is probably uh, it happened something here all along the, the walk, but it had to change the direction, change, etc., change another. You know, again and making at the, at the end um, a special map of the, the special map of the special landscape in fact it was the uh, the yeah, la vitre uh, on the glass on the window yes but the window on the roof um, uh, um... A velux, like a velux? Like a velux. It is, it is the velux in my room. <laughs> On the morning, I wake up and I saw that. It's incredible. What happened? But during the night, the, the, the la poussière, the, the, the pollen, pollen the dust. Uh, dust, dust, come on this velux and an animal, probably uh, a snail, came and makes this design. Fantastic landscape for me. Fantastic because um, it's not um, like a, a, a straight and right um, way for going quickly from here to here. No, no. It's a slow, slow chemin, you know. Well. A path, a slow path. A slow path. And it probably um, um, a new um, possibility for the conception of urbanism conception around the big cities in the world, where the cities are are, are going um, bigger way, big, big again, and they, they, they have to to dis destroy the um, natural landscape or the fields or agricultural landscape. But because 
this urban is is um, completely uh, linked to a very old way, old uh, vision of the world. We probably have to protect the diversity now when we extend the town around the town, you know. So, so the, this is, can be a map for the future the urban is. And the way we are protecting are here, 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 etc. And no, they are not these places which can be considered as a treasures uh, are not destroyed. This I um, they call it the martyr. Um, martyr. Uh, I, I try try to traduce it, but I think it's the same word. I think so. Yeah, I think. Um, it's for uh, protect the tile when you are making a, roof, a new roof with the tile and they cut it. And so uh, they protect it with the machine uh, and they, they cut the tile. And the man who was uh, doing that um, <coughs> <coughs> Explain me what is exactly the, 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 um, this object. And I said, but it, this is a, a sculpture. It's an objet d'art. And he gave, he gave me Martin. The last picture, bit, no, not exactly the last, the last is this one, is uh, Casno Tree, the memory, the track. Um, this is a tree which is still living. <coughs> In Australia, north of uh, uh, Adelaide, in the Flinders Ranges, it is a protected zone in uh, in this country. You can see a lot of uh, animals; it's very interesting. But uh, it's a forest of also eucalyptus. But this tree is now a special star because it has been the, the picture has been took by Casno who was a very, very famous photograph. And now, when you go there, you have a place you, where you meet this picture with the explanation, and still the, 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 the tree which was living here. If you, you go walking or too quickly or driving in the, in the river car, you, you cannot have the idea that this tree is in fact something which is an art, an objet d'art. And we, we can have the memory of that with the story of Casno. Voilà, j'ai fait le tour de différents, de, de, de different uh, topics or themes for the involuntary art. I hope that uh, you understood me because uh, I'm not a specialist of the language anglais. <laughs> no, it was fantastic. Thank you so much. Just amazing, just says uh, Marcia. And um, yeah, marvelous. We, we traveled around the world and we also, above all, traveled through your eyes, which was really fantastic. So every one of, of you uh, listening, you are more than welcome to ask uh, a few questions to Mr. Clément if uh, Mr. Clément allows for uh, a 20 minutes or so uh, discussion. But um, maybe maybe I, I know we, we need to, to warm up a little bit and, and I can start with the first question because I, I just wanted to, to come back on this question of uh, observation because I think this book is so much centered about your ability to, to observe, to catch some situations uh, of a, an incredibly poetic uh, intensity. And, uh, um, but the, the word in from observation in a, in a way can uh, refer in your work more to a sort of scientific attentions towards uh, either natural species or insects and animals. So th this is certainly an important part of, of your work. Uh, but also frequently uh, in your book and in your lectures, you mentioned the importance of uh, 
of wonder and astonishment, l'étonnement, l'émerveillement. So I just wanted to ask you if you could a little bit tell us more uh, on the role of these two uh, attitudes, let's say, the, the one of the observation and the one of the wonder and what role it has in your work. I think that the wonder is the most important thing because um, when you are attracted by something because it's a wonderful, you 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 go you, you go to this place. In French, we we have an exp a term which is uh, le cheminement par incitation. The, you walk because you you are attracted by thing on on the in your point of view you you go to, you go there it it is very interesting even if there is no walk on the on the ground but you go there that it, was the same for me when i was young i was attracted by the um, observation of the insects because when when an insect when um a worm, a chenille, a commodity chenille, I don't know. Becoming a, a, um, a butterfly, you, you, it's, it's incredible, it's absolutely fantastic. So I, <clears throat> I, I was interested by the garden because I was attracted by the wonderful place, pieces of the, the composition in the garden. Plants, animals, insects, etc. And just maybe uh, to follow on this, uh, do, do you think, because uh, as you've been uh, also teaching uh, for a great part of your life, do you, is it something that you've been working on with your students, training their ability to see, training their capacity to become what we call here sensitive observer? Is there a way you can <laughs> learn? When I go in a place uh, in order to obtain a sort of project, landscape project with the studio, I say to them, you have to forget all the objective uh, um, data, 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 data. We, we will um, take it after later but at the beginning is just be surprised you have to observe the place you don't know it's the first time you go there and you you, you think um what can i do if i want to live here and you you you, you, you begin to have a dream this is the most important thing after that you write a page or two pages explaining what is the dream, because the dream is the project. Of course, it's, a pure, it's only dream and not um, uh, very concrete. You, you have to, to change it a little bit. And so you, you put, you, 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 you ask for, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, the, the, the pH of the ground, the, 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 the climate, the, uh, economic uh, system around the people who are living there, etc., etc. This is the the the, 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 the subjective and objective data, and after that you can, you can design a, a project which is able to be realized, which is qui mm realizable. -hmm. But first, dream. That's amazing. Um, yeah, thank, thank you very much, Monsieur Clément. It was uh, wonderful and so poetic also. So I'm you know, really very, very happy of this lecture. Just uh, relating to what you're saying and uh, about the dream and the observation, uh, just, I just have a question for you because I'm very interested in your conception of time in general. And uh, observation uh, and dreaming also requires uh, a lot of time and uh, it requires also to slow down the pace. So slowing down the, the time also, the, the, the pace of the time, even, even in, a, in, a, in, a, 
capitalistic uh, idea of it to waste time that I, I I know that you don't like this this uh, this word this this idea of wasting time because there's no wasting time mm -hmm. and so in this uh, idea uh, of uh, pacing the time that you do it uh, so well and all the time uh, in the same time you are incredibly extremely productive productive because you are a gardener you are landscape uh, designer, your teacher, your writer. So you pr it's an incredible uh, work that you produce. And uh, so I just wanted to know what is your conception of time? And uh, if you think that slowing the time, the pace of time is a way to have more time in life. Fortunately, I'm not an expert. I'm not a specialist. And uh, all along uh, the, the, the time, of one, the time of the, on a day, on one day, I can do different things. Some things, designing, for instance, it's, it can be very quick or not. It depends. Uh, other is uh, very, very, uh, very, very long. R write a book is not the same, etc. And but the 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 best um, the best uh, um, pedagogy for time for me is the garden. In the garden, you you lost completely the idea of time. You don't have any idea of time. You 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 are just with your body in, in working. It's very interesting because. Uh, I don't know, you have this um, free spirit, free, the, your spirit is open to everything. Your body is included in the work you are doing. But if you put a seed in, in the ground, it's not for tomorrow. It's not like a click on the, uh, on the computer. You obtain the plant maybe one month, two months, maybe more later, you know that the seeds are sleeping very often. Some there, they wake up by a shock. They need that many, 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 many years after. They just still live in the ground, but they don't grow because they don't, they don't have the shock for, for growing. And the plants which are living with fire, for, for instance, they need a thermic shock from the, the like shelter. You know. If they don't have that, if they don't have fire, they cannot live, they cannot grow. So they, they, they wait. And a lot of different species are just waiting the, the, the best moment for living. And it is not exactly the same with, with the human being <laughs> working um, in the, the stress, um, opting the, the result, uh, like the competitivity, it's a horrible name for me. I cannot accept it. This is wonderful, the idea of the time for the seeds because they they are able to block the time, to stop the time, and waiting for the right moment. And this is, uh, yeah, this is incredible. And uh, I, I, I was thinking that as you talk with, uh, with your your relationship with the nature, <clears throat> that is in the center of your work, is not is not to work against the nature, but is is working with the nature and yes. the dealing dealing with the nature. Yes. Is it the same for the time? We have, we, have, we don't have to work against the time. We have to deal with the time. Exactly, and live uh, the the present, the 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 day we we, we are living. Uh, okay, okay, it's possible to have a, a book uh, for tomorrow, and, you know, and to, to prévoir uh, to, in. Uh, my English is so bad. Four C. Yes, it's a possibility, but it is not the most important thing. The most important thing is living today. What you have to live. Thank, thank you very much. Maybe we can open um, the question yeah. to uh, Gilly. 
There is a, one question from Eva from Valencia. Um, so Eva is saying thank you for your insights, Mr. Clement. Um, and she's asking if you think that this idea of involuntary arts needs a trained way of... Uh, yeah, I think we miss Gilly. She will come uh, back. Uh, Gilly, Gilly, we didn't, we didn't hear you fully. Can you repeat? Yes. Um, Eva is asking if you don't think that the idea of involuntary art needs a trained way of seeing. Art is in the mind who is looking at places and situations, and that's why we need more diverse people watching. So this idea of how to observe involuntary art and if you need a specific mind in order to see it, if I understood correctly, uh, Ava's question. Um, là, j'aurais besoin d'une traduction. Euh... Ah, en fait, donc je pense que ça revient un petit peu à la question dont on parlait tout à l'heure sur, euh, sur le regard, sur la qualité de l'observation. Elle demande si euh, il faut, pour reconnaître l'art involontaire, il faut avoir un regard entraîné. Un regard, euh, parce que comme vous le disiez, c'est plus, l'avoir involontaire tient plus à celui qui regarde qu'à la chose regardée. No, it's absolutely not necessary to be um, um, trained. Um, trained by somebody. Uh, it's necessary to be a baby. When you are very young, you see the things and you are absolutely surprised by that. And this is really the, the best way for, uh, for uh, appreciate, to have an appreciation of the surprise. And you are alone in this um, um, aventure, adventure. Your, your parents are not able to explain to you. You have to discover by yourself. So necessary to come back uh, to to the baby <laughs> baby guy <laughs> as young as possible. Thank you. I don't know if a, um, this this um, person this uh, was come from Granada from Spain. Uh, Valencia. Who said? Valencia, Valence, on Espagne. Yeah. Bueno, sí. Bueno, pero si quieres lo puedo contestar en español, es más fácil para mí. Lo puedo decir que en realidad lo mejor sería ser una niña pequeñita y, y, y mirar la cosa alrededor así nomás, pero sobre todo no escuchar a los padres. No, bueno. That's great. Wonderful. Y, Disobeyso. <laughs> uh, we have, um, yeah, Eva says, uh, thank you. We have another question from Yara. She asks, uh, Mr. Clement, what inspires you? Um, so many things. It's really difficult to, to give a, a good, um, answer to that uh, and I think I'm inspired by the thing I I can I, I, by the surprise the, the, the surprising things and uh, it's not possible to to have a provision of that I'm interested by the things I don't know So I, I need to, to discover things uh, very, very often. It's, it's, uh, that's why I love the um, um, intermingling between the things and the beings around the, the world and different languages, different view of the world, different conceptions, different cosmogonia. Um, I can't... Uh, uh, 
Je ne suis pas un croyant. Il I'm not that. a believer. I'm not a believer. I am just uh, interested by the poesy of each um, uh, religion, for instance, that um, believe to, to one or, or another. No, it's too, too complicated. <laughs> it's very difficult for me. But um, the different uh, imina imaginations are really interesting for me. Well, I try to discover things, even Even if you are old, you can do that. By the way, if I can just follow a little bit on that, um, you often say that something with no name doesn't exist. Uh, so giving a name to something is also giving life in some ways or giving a status of existence. And, and this little book, uh, Traité succinct de l'art involontaire, is very much about uh, classification also, as, as you explained today with the various uh, typologies, these categories that bring things together to make sense. Uh, and it's also about the act of naming things that, uh, that you're, you were probably the only one to see. Um, and in a previous book of yours, the Le Jardin en Mouvement, in the Garden in Movement, You, you uh, make a very interesting quote uh, from uh, Henri Laborit, uh, who defends the idea that man cannot live without grids because uh, it, it helps him to, to give sense to the apparent disorder of life and of the world. So I, I was uh, curious to hear you uh, about this question of classification, this need of classification and how, what, uh, How, what, what role it has in your own work? Well, the classification is something uh, um, useful for uh, <clears throat> um, retrouver, pour find again the thing you lost. If you don't have any classification, you are lost. And this is really a, a problem, but in the classification is, is not um, a rule um, absolute, it's just a practice system. Even for the classification, scientific classification for the, for the plants uh, today is different from the, the other we had uh, 10 or 20 years ago because uh, uh, they are in um, the, the group, the family group are not exactly the same. They change the name, they change the name of each plant very often. Well, it's uh, un peu agaçant, uh, what do you mean agaçant? It's a bit boring, a bit... Uh... It's a little bit boring, yes. <laughs> But it's not logical. Uh, no, we need it, but we don't have, we need the classification, we need this order, but we don't, have to be um, uh, uh, manipulé, uh, manipulated uh, manipulated by this uh, system, you know. To try to be free, to be in a liberty, it's not so easy. Thank you. We have uh, one more question. Um, so Lorenzo is asking, Uh, what is the connection between observation, taking pictures as visual notes, um, and the action, so the moment of design and making a project? Well, the connection is, uh, is the dream I spoke about. Um, the dream is, okay, something idealist and maybe not easy to realize. Anyway, you have the idea because in the dream is the project and you, you, you begin to design something uh, probably with your computer or on the table with a pen and paper, it's possible. But you also can do it on the ground. You can begin to design something, making something with, with um, instrument with uh, your hands 
uh, on, the, on the same ground, it depends on the scale and the, what you want to do. But first, of course, it's necessary to observe and to be uh, uh, in an emotional situation. If not, if you are completely not touched by this, the place where you need to, 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 to design something is very difficult. Very difficult if you are not um, emotionally concerned, you know. But I think the link is um, natural. Everybody do it. So it's possible it's able to do that. I don't know if I if I give the, the right answer to, to the question. It's not so easy. There is no right answer. Your answer is the one. <laughs> there is a question in uh, in French, uh, Louise. If you want to, uh, from uh, Ch Charles, we. Vous êtes d'accord pour répondre encore à une ou deux questions, Monsieur Clément? Oui, oui, okay. oui, oui. Um, attendez, donc. Uh, Nous avons une question. Je veux savoir. <rire> Facile. Bonjour, Monsieur Claude Clément. S'il vous plaît, je voudrais savoir comment on peut bien commencer un projet et le réussir. Merci d'avance. I'm just translating in English. This is not an easy question. Uh, he would like to know how can one start a, a project in order to uh, to to be successful or to, to make it successful? No, we don't never know. We never know uh, if it's possible to, to, for the project to be successful or not. The most important is to realize it because the, the best for, for you, because you are a conceptor is realize the thing you, you, you have imagined in your mind. And after that, it depends of the different um, uh, alia in the, in the story. We, we are not beginning this work where at, at the moment of the reception du travaux, that, is, that means the reception of the work on the ground, but uh, in, we, we know when we start this uh, in, in our job, this uh, garden or landscape, we never know when it finished, when it will finish. We never know. Continue to live because it's made with, with, uh, with uh, plants and also eventually animals, but living in the time. So they transform it. This is, I, I call it la co-signature. Co we have author, conceptor, but also nature is conceptor, and also the people who, who is maintaining the garden uh, also is, is, is um, an important uh, actor in the, la, the evolution of the landscape. So we don't never know if it's possible to, to have a success or not. As you said, the tree is an artist, no? In your, <laughs> your <That's book>. right. <laughs> The tree is an artist, yes. Maybe last uh, question. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, so a uh, question from uh, Francesco. He's asking about the COVID uh, pandemic. And do you think that people that experience lockdown in certain parts of the city who would, didn't have the possibility of looking at nature, had a different perception of time compared to the one living next to park and having the possibility of seeing and interacting uh, with nature. Yes, that's sure that um, the, the best, uh, the, 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 the good thing coming from this terrible pandemic. Uh, the time is different, the observation is different and uh, many, many animals and plants come in the places where never, uh, nobody saw the, it before and now they are observing it and they, they live together with. So it's probably something positive, not for everybody, but uh, a lot of people, yeah.
Okay, excellent. I think we, we'll stop here because otherwise it would be endless. <laughs> but uh, it was just marvelous. There are so many comments on, on the chat, uh, yes. thanking you for this uh, marvelous moment uh, that uh, opens up to uh, to dream and to to wonder. Uh, I think this is uh, really really uh, important. Thank you again, mm -hmm. Mr. Clement. And uh, we you. hope to have the chance to invite you again uh, for real this time for real. in school. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Clément. Merci. 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 À bientôt. Au revoir. Merci.